I think I'm distracted by the uh, broken banana building in my future. That and a few other kind of crappy, bad luck, semi-preventable things have happened lately. Ah, whenever I get in a string of crappy things like that happening, it's, it's like walking through a swamp of disaster and I feel like I'm just fighting disaster at every step. Anyway, I'm, I'm letting it get in my, in my brains and making me uh, get sloppy. That's, that's what it is. I'm starting to feel a little bit negative and sloppy so that when I do things like, you know, cut my acrylic here, I screw up and uh, don't score it enough this way, and then when I break it, I uh, make a big crack in the wrong place going the other way. Yay. Urgh. Anyway, I have to stop being sloppy and do a better job. But out of the pieces I did get that were good, oh, and I'll, I'll just have to figure out something to do with the, the smaller pieces. Maybe, maybe if I have some uh, other errors, and I need smaller pieces to just cut out small chunks I can use those or something. Whatever. I'll, I just have to turn the negative into something useful. But anyway, this is the last sheet of parts for the robot. And I just kind of turned the laser up maybe like 10% past what would cut through. So it would just blast through like nobody's business. So they're coming apart pretty easily now. And here I've got a whole can full of pieces that supposedly make a robot, so I'm going to go put them together. Okay, so this one doesn't use the whole sheet, so maybe I can use those cracked ones to make these since there's so much space extra. This is the last sheet. It takes five sheets to make all this junk in here. Hmm, let's see, I'll probably need some pliers, get some stuff. Oh. oh, what to make first? I think I'll make that thing. Wow, cool pieces. Check them out. I have no idea what this is. But there's like six of them in here. I guess I'll put those together last. This here internal gear is real important, so I'm going to make sure it doesn't have any bit stuck to it. Looks good. Mm. Now for some crazy glue. Alright. Oh yeah. How long does a crazy glue take to crazy eyes anyway? Mm, I don't know. Okay, different piece. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to sweat. It's because of the spicy nachos, though. So before I fixed all the holes, the hole sizes in these things, I printed some of them out, or cut some of them out. Oh, I have cheese on me. Nice. That's very classy. Uh, that's not cheese on me. That's a scratch on the screen. Ho oh, ho. Never mind. <laughs> so... I took a nail and cut it at an angle so it would be sharp. It totally looked like there was cheese hanging off my chin. It's just on the screen though. Yeah, very funny. <laughs> so anyway, now I've got a sharp edged nail so I can rotor root out those holes so that what I... What are you going to do to them? I'm going to rotor root them. Because <laughs> I cut them out too small. I just did that on one sheet and I remembered right after I cut them out and I fixed the holes. So in all future sheets it'll be fine. but. I have to do this to a few of them. Can you say rotor rooter sometimes fast? <laughs> it's really fun popping out the little middles of these too. Kind of like popping zits or something. Or not exactly like that. It's satisfying though. Is it like picking It's like it scratching out? an itch. <laughs> Next I have some little wheels. They have the right size hole, but when I cut out all the holes, I made it so that they would be, you know, like sort of stiff on the nail. So I need to make another rotor rooter nail to uh, go in and out of the holes to make them slightly bigger so they can spin more easily. Because some of the, wall, the holes I want to be stiff and some of them I want to be able to spin easily. I'm going to do that by taking the pliers and dragging it along the nail. And it'll like put little serrated lines around it kind of. 
I'll do a couple with a file too. There, now when I stick it in the hole, I can like spin it around and it'll chew off a bit of material. And then that guy will be able to spin much more easily. Sweet. Oh, no. Whoa, almost dropped it on the floor. That one would have been hard to find. All clear and stuff. Man, I need to like hire a little tiny kid to do this. <laughs> hey Aurora, you have little fingers. <sighs> all she does is slobber. And be cute. Oh, I can't pick these things up. Okay. You got that. And that, and that, and it's a little pulley that spins around very easily. And it goes inside here. I only glued one end together. Wow, that, is, that came out great. Nice. Yeah, so this side's all glued together, but the other side isn't. And then this goes in this hole here and then that goes on top except I obviously have to cut the nail. Ha! Got it! Ah, oh, nice! It swivels just like it's supposed to. A little bit looser than I wanted though. I'll have to remember to make this like half a millimeter wider. But it does work. How's it looking, Sandy? Oh, hey, Stander, how you doing? <laughs> in case you missed it, there's three of those little wheels in there. And then this round piece inside that swivels around the wheels. Man, this is like the coolest model I've ever put together. And I have some screws to put in these other holes that would hopefully hold it together, but they're not quite long enough. Arg! I'll have to go get some more of those. Hmm. Whoa, that is a nice fit. If I could get them all to fit that well, I wouldn't even need glue. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Goes in there. It's up there. Sweet. So I acted like I was asleep. <laughs> but I saw the whole way home.